don't know what I'm doing. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here today. Um, and today, we are going to be talking about prom. Yes, I know a lot of you have already been to prom, but maybe some of you haven't, or maybe you were like, ah, prom didn't really go the way that I wanted it to this year, or maybe you are going to be um, entering prom maybe next year, or you're going to go your senior year. Um, these are just some of the things that as a Christian, I um, observe and I um, really um, put boundaries on when it comes to prom. So let's get to it. Prom is so fun and it can be really fun when you're going with an awesome group of people or people that you're really comfortable with. Um, my date and I, we've been dating for two and a half years, so um, we really know our boundaries we know you know like we have already put up um the boundaries of you know what we're not going to drink we're not going to have sex we're not going to um do a lot of things um that you know everyone does on on a prom night after the dance um and just in the expectation of prom and in high school um i really felt it um you know, kind of like the vibes of everyone's getting super excited at school this week and everyone's been talking about it and it's really been um, kind of the buzz around school, I guess. Um, but there's also another kind of like, I don't know, this like feeling when you're like, um, and everyone's like, oh, what after party are you going to? Or maybe they don't ask you at all. Like for me, like people don't ask me what after party I'm going to because I don't do those things and people know that and maybe that's you and maybe you're just like well maybe maybe I should go to an after party maybe I should do that like to prove them wrong or maybe I should do that you know because it's cool and like don't get me wrong like I'm totally feeling that right now and I'm like well maybe maybe I should do this maybe I should do that but like make sure before you even get to prom that you have those boundaries set and you tell your date like hey you know what, I'm not comfortable doing this. I'm not comfortable um, doing this dance. I'm not comfortable, you know, going out and partying afterwards or um, having sex afterwards, um, which is like, whoa, why would she say that in a video? But it's true, like, you have to make sure that your date knows your boundaries, otherwise those are quickly going to be pushed. And I can even say that, you know, um, if you feel like you're getting into that situation where you're being tempted um, more than you want to or you're being tempted to the point where you're like, you know what, this is going to go downhill super fast, um, I would just encourage you, you know, like try to get out of that situation. And I know that's kind of like easy to say, but really hard to do. Um, I know that I would probably, I would probably walk out honestly, um, just because of my morals and beliefs. Like, at that point, if I feel like I'm being tempted um, to go to an after party or to do something with a boy that I know I shouldn't do, um, honestly, I would probably walk out. And I know that my parents would have no problem with picking me up. And I know that seems like you know, really childish to do, but like you don't want to be doing something at your prom night that you're going to regret for the rest of your life, pretty much. And you know what? God hasn't called us to go out to prom and, you know, have sex right afterwards because um, he meant sex for marriage. But that's a whole nother talk. And, you know, he hasn't meant for us. Um, there's obviously laws and, and, like, he's called us to obey. And, um, you know, we need to obey the laws. We need to obey our parents. Um, and so that's just, like, one thing that I would really encourage you to be thinking of um, while you're trying to decide maybe next year if you're going to go or... Um, Maybe you haven't had prom yet, or maybe you're kind of thinking of, you know, how do I change, you know, what happened from last prom, and how do I make this coming year's prom better, or how do I make sure that, you know, maybe you're done with the prom altogether, maybe you're just like, I want something better for my kids than 
then I um, went through at prom. I, the second thing I would encourage you to do is to find friends that you know aren't gonna put you in those temptations that are going to be there just to have fun and hang out and you know um, maybe hang out afterwards but you know and you know pretty sure that nothing bad is going to happen and I have those group of girls although I am not going in a group with them I know that like if we were to do anything after prom um, it wouldn't be something that I would feel like convicted of later um, it would just be really fun and not anything that I knew that I wasn't supposed to be doing um, so yeah, find those group of people that you can hang out with and that, um, you know, that are going to really not tem tempt you to do something that, you know, that you aren't supposed to do. And honestly, that makes prom like 10 times more fun when you have a group of people that um, you don't have to worry about, you know, what are they going to say next? What are we going to do next? Like, you know that you're just there to have fun and that you're all friends and that it's going to be a rocking <laughs> good time. Um, so yeah. So anyway, those are a few things that I, um, I would recommend. Two things that you can think of for, um, the coming up prom or prom, um, next year. And, um, in this video, I'm going to kind of recap my prom. So, sorry if the videos are kind of, like, weird. Um, but I just want you guys to see that, you know, prom isn't all that bad. And I know, that some of you may not may have a different opinions um, when it comes to Christians going to dances, but I feel like if you really um, just keep those boundaries and know your morals and your heart and know um, and just let the Holy Spirit speak to you when it comes to um, making that decision, um, then you know what I think I think it will be fine to go to a dance. And I think you know if you think that you know that's something. That you don't want to put yourself in that temptation or you don't really believe that that's totally fine too but here are a few highlights from prom 2018. you know it's prom when your hair is still wet you don't have none and you're wearing flip-flops because your toes have not dried oh my goodness but yay go prom we just got done taking pictures and the lighting is like super bad whatever but it wasn't it so fun Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so cute. I cannot, I cannot wait to show you guys. It's gonna be, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I hope you guys liked it. I had a lot of fun. And if you would like to see more of my life and to um, see what I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, all of my social media is down below. So make sure you follow me and subscribe and like this video. And I will see you all next week. See ya!